Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. Today, I want to talk about something that's on the minds of many PC builders and gamers, and that is GPU prices in Canada and the US as we move into April 2025. If you're in the market for a new graphics card, you may have noticed that prices are all over the place, with high end models being particularly expensive and basically impossible to find. Let's break it down. So high-end GPUs, at the top of the market, we have NVIDIA's RTX 5090. If you're looking for the powerhouse, be prepared to spend well over $4,000 if you can even find one in stock. Availability is extremely limited. The RTX 5080 is slightly more affordable, but still comes out in around $1,500 or more. And it, is too, and it too is facing shortages. Meanwhile, last-gen flagship models like the RTX 4090 remain expensive, sitting at roughly $2,875. On the AMD side, the RX 7900 XTX offers a more budget-friendly high-end option at around $1,199. For the mid-range GPUs, moving into the mid-range segment, we see some solid options with more reasonable pricings. The RTX 4080 Super is available for about $1299, while the RTX 4070 Ti Super is slightly higher at $1388 Canadian. AMD Radeon RX 7900 XT, a strong competitor, sits around $769, while the RX 7800 XT provides great value at $429. On to the low-end GPUs. Moving into the low-end GPUs. For those looking for budget-friendly option, there are still choices available. The RX 4060 Ti is priced around $570, while AMD's RX 7700 XT comes in around $349. If you are looking for an even more affordable option, the RX 7600 is selling for about $259.99. Intel is also competing in this space with the ARC B580 available for $379.99, which is a very good option for uh, people looking for an all Intel PC build. On the lower end GPUs, what's driving these prices? There are a few key factors affecting GPU prices right now. Shortages. Not enough GPUs have been made for the people that are wanting to buy them. Especially the RX 50 series are in short supply, leading to inflated prices. That is why we are seeing all these crazy prices on the 5090 and 5080 GPUs. Market fluctuations. So market fluctuations, factors like demand, supply chain issues, and currency exchange rates all play a role in pricing. And soon to be the VAT and tariffs that are going to be in place for anything that has been shipped overseas. New releases, as new models hit the market, they push down the prices of older GPUs, but high-end cards continue to hold their value due to demand. So if you're planning to upgrade your GPU to keep an eye on the market, shop around for best deals, and consider whether waiting for prices to stabilize might be the right move for you. So if you're looking to buy a GPU right now, it is currently not the greatest time to be uh, searching for a GPU right now, as I have stated in some live streams that the GPU market is going to have to stabilize after a couple months as sh uh, shortages start being replenishes. Uh, so after shortages start being replenished by GPU manufacturers like Zeus, Gigabyte, PNY, and other manufacturers of GPUs, uh, they're going to have to uh, step up the game, start building the GPUs that is needed. Uh, let me know in the comment section below whether or not uh, you have seen these inflated prices, what GPU you have, and uh, let me know whether or not these prices are going to stay, go, or hopefully be uh, changed up here in the near future. Uh, but as in for right now, going into April 2025, this is the prices and the that's what we're looking at. This is what we're looking at here in Canada and the U.S. The prices are absolutely insane. Uh, let me know if you're in other parts of the world and whether or not these GPU prices are also insane prices. Uh, again, thank you to all my viewers, subscribers, and donators. You guys are helping out this channel greatly. And as always, don't forget to get her done.